Okay, so if you're using Swiper.js in your Webflow site and you want to make it responsive, so we have two ways uh, to control the responsiveness for the Swiper.js sliders in Webflow. So if I'm, I'm standing right now on 1920 and if I just make it like 1919, so now we have two slides covering the width of the container. But if I make it 1920, so then it becomes three. So we can control the number of slides. And I have set another breakpoint like on 991. So I have two slides if I make it under a 1990, sorry, 990. So it becomes a one. And if I make it 990, it becomes two. So we can control these numbers. So how we are controlling these numbers? Um, so this is the the script that I have on the this on the page settings inside the page settings, and this is the attributes that I have used. Um, so here I'm showing that um, that on 1920 and above keep the number of slides to three, right? And between 1919 and 990, keep the number two. And when it becomes less than 990, so the number of slides will become one. And, and yeah, because there is no specific um, numbers below 640, so it will keep on it will keep the number of slides to one. So let's see that if we go below uh, 640. So let's see what happens. So if I go below 640, because there is no specific number there, so it will keep the number of slides to one, right? So this, this is the one way of doing it. This is the one way of doing this. And you can easily get this, um, get this code from here so it is called swiper.js so you can just go to docs and go to swiper element and there we have like how you can set up the breakpoints and you can set the numbers there right so this is the one way let's uh, put this inside let's comment these breakpoint lines and let's just copy this number and let's put it right there and let's make it auto when we make it auto then we can control it from the webflow properties panel so how we can control that uh, we can control in this way like so the swiper slide is set to width 40 percent and if i just publish this page again and let's uh, refresh the page now actually the slide is covering the 40 percent right now i can set the percentage on different breakpoints so let's say that on desktop we have set it to 40 percent and on tablet let's make it to it's 60 percent we can also change this and on let's say that on landscape let's make it to 100 percent right and on mobile it's already 100 percent right so let's publish and let's see that what are the results we have so this is the second way to control the responsiveness of your slide so now on on mobile landscape we have uh, the, the slide is covering the 100 percent width of the container of the parent and now we can switch between different slides from here and if we just go big so now the slide is covering i think 60 percent and now it's covering the 40 percent so this is how you can control the responsiveness of your slides when you are using swiper.js in webflow